Last week we left off having arrived in Seattle from Paris. My next leg a few hours later was the last one for the day, the three-hour hop up to Anchorage on a Delta 737-800. This flight didn't yield a lot of footage, partly because I was exhausted by this point and passed out for most of it, so I'm just including it here in brief to give you a sense of it. Delta's a good airline. They do pack in the domestic first-class seats, though. I'll end up with more legroom than this in my Alaska Airlines economy seat tomorrow morning. Takeoff out of Seattle in the fading light was pretty. There was a surprisingly decent meal service, and it was a shame it was dark out because the mountains of Alaska as you begin descent to Anchorage are just stunning. Anyway, welcome to Alaska. So after an epic day of travel from Stockholm via Paris and Seattle up to Anchorage, we're here now in Alaska and uh, I've slept a night ready to continue the adventure, flying up to Nome today on Alaska Airlines 737. So a fairly standard kind of flight, Alaska Airlines, nothing too surprising on the plane, but uh, the location is definitely interesting. Uh, Nome is up on the Bering Sea, and it's one of these places, these outer, more remote towns and villages in Alaska that I've been really curious about and eager to get to. Part of my fascination with the, the far north. Uh, it's just below the Arctic Circle. The weather seems to be very Arctic still. In Anchorage, it's feeling like spring, beautiful, not too cold, but up there is properly minus uh, so let's see how it goes. At least I'm hoping for clear weather so we get some nice views on approach. And then uh, the flying adventure begins up there. So come on board, Alaska Airlines 737-700 to know. I'll tell you something, I've never had a bad flight with Alaska Airlines. Welcome aboard flight 151, service to Nome. Uh, expecting an on-time push today. I've flown them all around the West Coast, down to Mexico City, from Portland to Atlanta, JFK to Seattle, and even to Hawaii. Every time I see that tail, I get a happy feeling. And I know a lot of people who feel the same way. From a branding perspective, I'd say that's pretty impressive. So while a 737-700 may not be the most exotic airplane with which to kick off my intra-Alaska flying adventure, I'd say it's fitting. By the way, if you ever want to go look at 747s, Anchorage is really the place. What a fun bunch of cargo planes they have up here. And there's a constant flow of them coming and going. And here we are in seat 6A on the Alaska 737. This is the front row of the main cabin, and this section is referred to as premium class. You get extra legroom and early boarding, basically, but it's a good amount of space and usually just a modest cost to upgrade. On flights over 350 miles, you also get free alcoholic drinks. Alaska and American Airlines elites in some cases have free access to these seats, but there's various rules to be aware of, so be sure to Google that. Anyway, I find this to be a great value. Let's get going up to Nome.
Very quickly out of Anchorage, we're flying over incredible snow-covered mountains. In-flight service on this short hop to the almost Arctic is friendly but basic. A nice cup of coffee and a Biscoff cookie. Plus, the flight attendant mentioned my American Airlines Elite status, thanked me for flying, and gave me this delicious piece of chocolate as a bonus. It's a little embarrassing when you're given treats that your seatmate isn't, but it was a nice and unexpected touch. With that out of the way, the rest of this video is going to be mostly about the scenery. I think it deserves some extra attention, don't you? Oh, and they've got the tiny new Boeing Labs on this one. Oh well. After a pleasant hour or so, we begin descending over the still icy Norton Sound, an arm of the Bering Sea. We're just a little bit south of the Arctic Circle here.
we do a little backtrack on the runway and park up at the tiny Alaska Airlines terminal. Nome is something of a hub up here, mainly for Bering Air, which operates flights all around the area, and which I'll be flying next. They have their own terminal just down the road. Tune in next week to see that adventure. In Nome for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.